look, it's really good to see so many people here, and, and actually so many young people. And um, to be honest, I kind of feel more at home with this crowd than uh, the, normal, <laughs> the normal diplomatic functions. <laughs> um, but uh, look, tonight's about the young people and our young award winners, so I don't want to talk for long. Um, but let me just say a few things, and I'm just going to be a bit boring, so just, just bear with me. But, um, so we in, in Diffid Tanzania, we've been sort of thinking about our five years, what are we going to do in Tanzania for the next five years? And one of the major um, changes, I guess, taking place in Tanzania is the number of young people. And Diana and Maria mentioned the numbers, but nearly two-thirds of people under the age of 25. That's, that's like completely going to change this country. Um, so, you know, obviously there's a huge potential. Like when, when you've, all got, you've all got jobs, um, your country, the economy, that, that phrase, the demographic dividend, you know, that potential is huge to Tanzania. Um, and you know, that could really propel this country into, into middle income status and into real power in the region. But it doesn't happen automatically. You know, it's hard work. And the World Bank estimated that um, Tanzania needs to create 800,000 jobs a year to absorb all these young people coming into the world. And I was trying to think, how many do we create in the UK? And I looked up the numbers. And in the last five years, we've created 200,000 jobs. So that's, in five years, we've done a quarter of what Tanzania needs to do every year. So that kind of just gives a sense of, of the challenge. And, um, and as Simon was saying, you know, it's not easy for, for young people here. You know, education isn't great, um, access to finance, so, so even the voice issues from getting heard and, and politics is really difficult. And I kind of, you know, I say this quite a lot, but I feel your pain in this. You know, I go into meetings with all these old senior officials and, they all think I'm the kid from Diffid that's turned up. So I sort of, uh, sort of understand how difficult it is for young people. But, you know, as, as Diana was saying, you know, to see, I, I, I've blogged about young people, actually, and one of the things I've blogged about is whenever I feel pessimistic about Tanzania or about Africa, you just have to talk to young people because the energy and the creativity and the sort of, the passion just really, really inspires them. Inspires me and inspires the world. Today, um, you know, meeting all these young leaders who, who as I was saying, are role models, you know, we look to you in a way to um, not only to be role models, but also to create jobs and opportunities for others. So, you know, that's a big challenge on your shoulders, but I, you've already right, risen to the challenges. So I'm sure you'll, uh, you'll keep doing that. Um, so, let me just say about, a bit about Diffid. We've kind of suddenly woken up to the fact that there are lots of young people in the world that we need to think about and think about how we work with you, support you, and um, we're trying to do that in different Tanzania. So we've created an internship scheme, which I hope is just the beginning. We've got three starting soon, I hope. Um, but I hope that's just the beginning of what you know, will be a, a long traineeship program. We've got a youth panel, a youth advisory panel. I see some of them, some of them are here. Um, and they hopefully will keep us on our toes and make sure that everything we're doing in Tanzania is relevant uh, and helps young people. Um, we're creating a job uh, program in Dar es Salaam to try and create jobs for young people. Um, and also we continue to support innovation through uh, something called the Human Development Innovation Fund, which Ilonga was a, a recipient of, of funding from that. So you know, we're doing lots of things, we can do more, we want to do more, and that's why we're sort of bringing young people right into the DFID to help us think about what we're doing. But really, we're pretty rubbish at this. I mean, we don't really know what we're doing. So. Um, that's why we want, want you involved with us. And frankly, nothing we can do will be as powerful as, as what you can do for Tanzania. So we really want to, I guess what I want to say to you young Tanzanians, is we're behind you, we want to support you. Um, we want to, to, to champion your voice. Um, we had some of our young people went on a review of one of our programs to look at more votes. And um, they came up with lots of really good things that we hadn't detected. And so now we're going to sit them down with the government and they can talk to the government about that roads program. So, you know, wherever we can, we'll try and use our 